Holy cow. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. My name is Nick, and now we're going to explore the missile silo from Site 579-10 in Roswell, New Mexico. I'm going to try not to narrate this video too much and let the original footage play out. This is a much lighter uh, part of the silo from the launch control center where I know it was hard to see everything. Enjoy. You know, we're like right here. Yeah, I mean, there's an I-beam under here. Okay. And and there's an I-beam going out there, so that Got it. should be solid. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of rust, but it's still... Holy cow. <laughs> hey. I just happened to notice, for some reason, that one of those orange cones is hanging over there. <laughs> what the heck? is similar to the other uh, other room in that it has a four-point suspension uh, if you I guess you look yeah, I see the springs there. on the other side so they removed them here no they're down, they're down below. well because somebody cut them yeah well the, the railing is missing but you know the if you want to get close um, you can be do it next to one of these I-beams or something okay. where you can grab on them Jesus. How deep are the uh, LSFs? Well, the to the cement at the bottom, which is about 10, 15 feet below the bottom level that you see here, that's 184 feet from the surface. So... I love New Mexico, no rust. That's one of the things that, as luck would have it for me, I got, I got a site that doesn't have much of it. Our still work platform down there? No, the, the launch platform is gone. No, but the work platform. Oh, 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 on the edge. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, this... Tell you what, even for a guy that's not afraid of heights, <laughs> that is uh, an impressive drop. Oh yeah. Well, I, I would say too, from you know, looking, taking y'all in, looking from the bottom up. I don't know if it, which way looks more, yeah, spooky or impressive or whatever you want. For me, it's looking down. Uh -huh. uh, up is just. You know, awesome because you can see how high it is, but it. See, yeah, we. I don't know exactly how much time we've got. I mean, we could. As walk, much as you want, if you want to. walk down there that ways. Well, it's up to you. Uh, your we can go to the bottom. I got, I got time. Okay, well then, I guess I'll just maybe. Just... I'll Let go me see what the best way. I'll follow you down. To, yeah, I'll, I'll start, and then if you want to be the lead, you can. At some point down here, a couple couple circles around, one of these has been upset because somebody was dragging something up, and they kicked it up, so it's not square like this anymore. It's still okay. stable. But... I guess once you get to this point here, another quarter turn, you get to see right next to the edge straight down, so that's a... I don't know, I guess I'll just keep on walking. Yeah, around. no, it's fine. And if there's anything of interest on any of the floors, you can talk about it either coming up or down. Yeah, I guess almost nothing left. Um, on the floors. Yeah, yeah, there. And spiral staircases and being dizzy. <laughs> Go yeah. around and around on this sucker. Right. 
Yeah, it's good to look off to the side occasionally, see if it's yeah. I haven't been counting the spores, but I think we're maybe coming up to the fifth level here now. Let me pause here real quick. About halfway. Yep. Okay. Okay, so now right right where you're 45 degrees into the silo is where this one step is. Oh, I see it. Okay. Are disrupted. All right. So give me Jesus. is a direct uh, access to over the edge. <laughs> yes, it is. And this is a prime example for my viewers of why restoring one of these silos, even though the Titan is very different, is not practical. Mm -hmm. Scrapping everything in here and putting in a nine-story building is a lot easier than trying to do anything with what's left. Although I am incredibly impressed with the lack of rust. Uh -huh. but there is just nothing you could do with this. Okay, so I don't know, do you, do you want to go to the bottom? Sure. Okay. I mean, so the stair stop. This is the bottom of the spiral stair. Now we're. Now we'll stop way. here. We ah. could st we could stop here, oh. right? Okay. Because with me out. holding the iPad, yeah. I'll just yeah. stop and start heading back up. Okay. But. Sure. So okay, so that's a metal floor that we can see down there, and then there's concrete below that. Yes. If you actually, you can see the hole in it. Yeah. And so the debris you see under that, right. that would be the bottom floor, right. the bottom level. There. Camera delay. So the scrapping that has been done in here, this was all done by the Air Force? Yes. Yeah, most, most everything that's been removed was them. Um, one one uh, time, uh, some years ago, I came down and found uh, a couple of con uh, boxes that had Oxygen and acetylene regulators had been in it, and so somebody brought some equipment in and salvaged something. But oh, nothing, nothing on this scale. Yeah. Wow. So that's a uh, was a freight elevator on the other side there. It was, yeah, the service elevator. That okay. Would be Maybe maybe this level was to access some of the. Um, so it looks like it services everything service below there. here, but nothing above. Yeah. Oh, I see it. It's on the very top level. The very top level access to get the little warhead, and then. <coughs> I think there was a. Okay, so just to, to generalize the the elevator that brought every, moved the missile around, that was some 30, 25, 30 feet tall. So the bottom of the missile, you know, would have been 30 or something. Okay, so two, two, two levels and give or take up. And these levels are all pretty tall.
And I'm not sure those bottom two that I see here, those uh, platforms, that might have just been to service the uh, elevator equipment. Okay. So again, I don't know. I mean, I'd have to look at a look at the plans. A diagram of the a missile sitting in in a silo just to try to reference. So here are the buffer springs, or. Well, I could borrow one of those and just put it in mine. I'm missing one. <laughs> They're about the right size. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I really want to take one of those out, though. Yeah. Well, I, I listened to one of your uh, videos. I think it was one of yours. Maybe Gary was just telling me something. But one, one was removed or something. Yeah, the scrappers thought it would be a good idea to cut it out. Yeah. I don't think it was a very good idea. Good shot with the cone. <laughs> How did it end up hanging there? Wow. I think they just... Wow. That's the first time I've seen it, so that's happened in the last uh, six months or something. have arrived at your destination. That is incredible. Some of those, uh, got a few times there's been a, a missileers to get together and they come and look at this and Gary's and some others. And the, at the time, I didn't think anything about it. And uh, more recently, it's become a, the thought is, this would have been like my house today, not like this trash pit that it is now. Yeah. And so, you know, fresh paint. Oh yeah, would everything. Been, it would have been order, beautiful. No, no dirt. Yeah, right. Just, For the two and a half years it was in service. Yeah. Man, we spent a lot of money on two and a half years. Oh yeah. That is defense spending right there. And the yeah. Titan twos were only supposed to be in for under ten years. They did twenty five. I think they're the best oh. lasting system out of the. Okay. Titan ones. I think they weren't even a year. Okay. But, well, the earlier ones that had you know some. Fuel or oxidizer or uh, whatever um, problems. I mean, when, I don't know when they went to solid fuel, but. So this is great. the actual elevator. They, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the service elevator. And so. Did they take the cable and it's just locked off here? I believe it's just bolted in place or something. <laughs> so. Probably the emergency brake is on. Okay. And I'm, I'm hoping that I can just lower it two and a half feet or whatever so it makes it. Yeah, with a chain, with a, enough chain hoist. Well, I guess the other thing is, and or maybe just put a set of steps in it and leave it there. Uh, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah. The, oh. If that emergency brake has been sitting there for yeah, 50, right. oh, 60 yeah. years now, sure. I, I wouldn't even go in it. Okay. That's an express ride to the bottom if that brake goes out. Yeah. So elevators have, if the cable is to snap, there's an emergency brake that's probably right here grabbing onto that rail. Okay. And they're a great safety system, but I wouldn't use it as your primary, uh, hoping it doesn't kill you. Yeah. Well, I'll have to see how, if I can figure out how heavy it is and, like you say, uh, use some kind of cabling device that yeah i mean you got such if, great i-beams in here right? if i lower it down and, and lock it in place with bolts or some other thing well they actually gave you your answer 
See okay, that? See that loop. that loop in the ceiling there? Right. I would. Uh, oh, it'd be real fun to get up there, but um, cable hoist or a chain chain hoist, real mm -hmm. heavy duty one, and take the pressure off of it. But I just don't know what you do with it. Well, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, like I say, w one of the thoughts that I had was I could use this as a as a as a. Too dark down there. Yeah, the cable's definitely gone. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's another. That's you know another <laughs> little um, another project, another day. Yeah, something to give some thought to, and if it works fine, if it doesn't. Yeah. You're not bleeding. You're not working, right? Okay. Your fault. <laughs>